All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. So welcome to another UFC 4 Legendary Career Mode playthrough. Going to be doing light heavyweight this time, and um, we're going to be taking a calf through. Uh, I've found a good calf that I've seen on a YouTube channel called Rampage, and I'll leave the link in the description if you want to make it yourself. It's probably the best luck and bass route I've seen someone make. There he is. El Wapo. So we're going to be doing a the last playthrough I did with with me my own me, like my calf if you like myself it was just a straight kickboxing uh, style just knockouts going for knockouts it was all stood up but this is going to be like a mixture of kickboxing and submissions to sort of emulate Bass's trajectory through his career he started out as a straight up kickboxer uh, coming from uh, Dutch uh, Dutch kickboxing background. And then he started to gradually learn submissions and became one of the first stand-up fighters to, to to embrace submissions early on. This is even before he got into the UFC. Um, as far as back as I can remember, there was no one who was doing that, like who, who would become multifaceted like that. And Bass doesn't get enough credit for being one of the first, or if not the first, to do it and, and be successful at it as well. So there's kind of an, an homage, if you like, or a tribute to my favourite mixed martial artist of all time. Uh, Bass El Wapo Rutan. So I'm gonna get started in a second. Look at this though. What am I? I'm still getting used to the. <laughs> still getting used to the buttons. What are we doing here? Look, look at this. We're on a PS5 now. I got me PS5. Finally got us. Got one off eBay. Yeah. So I thought it was time for an upgrade. I've got no new games. I'm just basically. It's it's basically the most expensive fucking PS4 emulator you've ever seen. Have I muted shit? Oh, yeah, I have muted shit. Ready for the interview. There yeah. we go. Gonna get All used right. to this new controller. Actually, we don't need to see this shit we've seen it before. Yeah, so not really notice much difference to be honest with you from the PS5 uh, coming from me PS4 Pro. This game runs at 60 FPS on me PS4 Pro. It runs at 60 FPS on here. The graphics look identical. I'm not seeing any any difference to be honest with you. I'm not noticing any difference in loading times. I'm not saying that I, I I haven't got an SSD installed in the PS5 yet. I'll fucking well, haven't got enough money. The PlayStation itself took all my money. I haven't got another hundred and whatever quid for an SSD. So I'll save up for one eventually. So maybe that's why the faster loading times aren't really that evidence. It just feels exactly like a fucking PS4 to me, or a, a PS4 Pro, should I say? There'll be definitely differences between a, st a standard base PS4 and this for sure. Um, but this is kind of just like a souped up fucking PS4 Pro. It's the most expensive emulator I've ever fucking... I've ever owned. But I've got one anyway, because I thought... I'm going to want to play UFC 5. And that's probably due to come out in like the summer or something like that. So, and I don't know if it will be developed for the PS4. I know a lot of developers are sort of moving away from making PS4 games now. So I thought, if, I, if just as a precaution, if UFC 4 is not made for the PS4, then I would have to upgrade anyway, wouldn't I, really? And also, with my PC sort of not being fully optimised to play something like Undisputed, which has actually got announced... Uh, as of today, by the way, you'll be seeing this the day after I've recorded it, but as of today, as I'm recording this, oh, gonna get knocked out in the opening section of the game. Doesn't matter though. So, yeah, the, the Undisputed Beta is, uh, sorry, Early Access is gonna be released on July 30. Uh, July, fucking hell, jump on the gun a bit there. January 31st on PC, though, unfortunately, the console people aren't really getting that, that kind of love yet. I think that they must be just like. I guess trial it try the PC is a good platform to, to, to give it its trial run before it gets I guess fully tweaked and optimized for the consoles um, can they say I check it everything oh have that uppercut you fuck yeah so uh, obviously I'll, I'll still buy the undisputed beta on my PC on my laptop even though it's like not fully good enough to run it but I'll give it a go anyway, and if I waste my money, I waste my money. If it, if it ends up being a like not powerful enough to run it, but the beta had some, uh, I had some decent matches on the beta, so maybe if I just turn some settings down or whatever, you never know, I might get away with it. But failing that, 
if it's not good enough to run it, I've got the PS5, you know what I mean? I can just get it when it comes out on PS5, so I've got the machine now in place. And so this will probably be the last console I ever buy, I think. Coming to the into the twilight of my gaming life now. Probably don't see myself gaming for many more years. So this is pro I won't probably buy any more consoles after this. God, how many more checks does he want to get on me? This guy. It's a shame you can't actually win this fight, but like I know why they I know why they've done it like that. Oh look at that uppercut. I just like seeing if I can actually get through without being knocked out. So, no surprise. Kid loses the fight. That's a really good bass route and calf that. I think that's a, that's a decent bass route. This isn't one of those stories where you Shut up, Coach Davis, we know your game. <laughs> murderous murderous training partners. Same clothes all the way through the career. Would you like to start your career in the UFC? We're going to say no, but we're going to do it a bit different this time. We're not going to go for the belt in the WFA. What I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to start at the WFA. I think you get offered the, the, the Dana White Contender Series opportunity pretty early on. So I'm going to have a couple of fights in the WFA, jump ship at the earliest opportunity without going for the title, and then try and get into the UFC relatively early to go for GOAT status in this one, or GOAT status, because... I was just short of it last in my last playthrough. We only needed one more performance of the night bonus, and they never, never give it to me. See, look at these loading screen. This loading time is is exactly the same as the PS4. By the way, obviously, if I had an SSD, it'd be different. Good, but good. Five more seconds. just saying, it's it's Work. basically no different from a PS4 at the Three, moment. A PS4 two, Pro. One, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try and go for gold this time. Get a few hey, more fight wins. Uh, lockdown in the UFC, the and we should come away with it. I could tell from that last this fight, time. Got tons of hard, so that I'm really does look like Bass. So but it's got, it's got like well, a, got great physical ability, a look of him at some angles anyway. <laughs> oh, look at Coach some Davis telling Bass he's going to work on his technique. Like look at him. Like checkers, but you and I, we know better. Okay, we heavy bag and don't need to listen to that. You ready? So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do okay. what I did last time and sort of use these opening three fights and to farm. Uh, evolution points. Good, good. I'm gonna sort of make drag the fights out into the third rounds if I can. Hopefully, not lock, not knock the fucking guy out early. Nice. To farm nice. as many points as I can. Go. To get like a a sort of a, a bit of a head start on leveling some shit up. Because what I should have should have done was really was pick the balanced archetype, and that would have. Some Gave me a pretty, a, like an even keel across striking and grappling, but I've left it on kickboxing by mistake. So me, when it comes to leveling submissions up, it's going to be a bit more expensive for the point. So I made that mistake. What am I doing here? I'm not paying attention. Yeah. So this, these next three fights will be like farming points and give us an opportunity to get them in the bank before it gives us the opportunity to, to turn the difficulty up to legendary. We don't need to know all this, coach. We've been through all this. Hit and don't get hit, but you try doing that against fucking Coach Davis's fucking right, let's get in there. Let's Terminator training squad. Let's see what you got. Now block everything. So I'm still getting used to this... Uh, so this new controller, I think I like the PS4 controller better. Okay. I don't know. Dad's like the feel of it. In, this has got like more of a... Doing great. An Next Xbox... Uh, like feel to the controller. Keep it up. I know you can still Press use on. the... PS4 controller. And I, I might actually start doing that. Because I like having... Good work. Next set. I like having the... Um, the cable plugged in at all times, so I don't have to fucking keep good, charging good. it. Moving on to the next one. But when I did buy it on eBay, I kind of got it with... Uh, I, I got the the disc don't version, sorry, the, yourself, the PS5 don't with the disc drive. Yourself. What am I doing here? Landed strike. Yeah, it's got the disc drive, and it came with two controllers, and one of those um, sort of charging docks for the controllers, that you just sit the controllers in. So... I don't necessarily need a charge cable, I can just constantly switch between the two uh, controllers, if you like, but I kind of don't mind having a wired setup. Just just means you never have to charge it, you know what I mean? 
so I might pick up a, a, a cheap, uh, some charge cables just to have. Well, I must. It is nice having it wireless. I must say, but it's got to fucking charge the thing all the time. Yeah, I didn't get. It wasn't too bad of a deal, really. Paid five hundred and five hundred and thirty quid. And like I say, that was for the console itself, two controllers, and then the the charging station. So wasn't wasn't a bad deal. And with Sony just announcing that they're the sort of up in the up in the availability on them now. Um, they're saying that you should be able to get one a lot easier because apparently there was like a big fucking struggle for a long time for people, wasn't it? To, to actually acquire a PS5, but I mean, there's fucking loads on eBay. Do you know what I mean? You just gotta just be careful who you actually select when you're buying off them. You know, don't be buying off people who fucking got dodgy looking accounts or like they've only been selling for like two days and no feedback. I mean, I know everyone's gotta start somewhere, but you can sort of minimise the risk if you like. You know, the person who I bought it off it, he had like 800 feedback and it was all all positive and. You could just tell, you know what I mean? It's a, it was a legit, a, a legit sale. I was still kind of nervous, though. I must admit, though, as soon as I'd bought it, I did get buyer's remorse sort of immediately. I was like, oh, why did they just buy that? Like, why did they just buy it? You know, it's like a lot of money. I've got, like, I've not got much savings. I'm trying to save up to move apartments, but I decided to dip into it and treat myself. I don't know. When you've got money there, sometimes I just think I want to spend it on something. I want to spend my money. So yeah, I felt a little bit of buyer's remorse, like as soon as I bought, pulled the trigger and bought it. But I thought I've got it now; it, it's there. You know what I mean? It's like and if, I, if I don't, if I don't want it, I can always just sell it on. You know what I mean? Because I'm not going to really see the full benefits of it of the, of the, in, in the terms of the machine's performance until I don't know, like a next gen game comes out that I really want. So like. UFC 5 or like Undisputed, like a game that's going to maximise or utilise the uh, the capabilities of the console, whereas this something, something like UFC 4 or any other PS4 games not really making use of that, you know what I mean? It's just fucking, it's just basically an emulator, <laughs> like I said, I fucking pay 530 quid for an emulator, which is, sounds stupid when you say it out loud, but I will get some uh, newer titles for it eventually, but not on that I want at the moment. Just, just happy with it. Playing combat sports games at the moment. Let's try and get some of these techniques levelled up as much as I can. All my favourite strikes, jabs, right straights, left hooks, right uppercuts, left uppercuts, liver shots of course. Some low kicks leveled up. Gonna watch my stamina. Fucking hell. A left kick to the body. Can't be forgetting about that. That liver kick. We I don't know when. Because I've never done a light heavyweight career before. I don't know when I'll get access to certain moves. So things like the loop and cross and the snap jab and the left switch, switch kick to the body. I'll have to figure that out in the next few fights when we can look look at training with some. Uh, Training partners to learn them, but I do remember in the la in the last playthrough that I did, so I could only get some of the moves way late on into the career. So like, you've got to win a UFC title before you can train with certain people. So the, that that involved things like getting the snap jab and the loop and cross off Max Holloway. You could only do that when you reach champ status. Uh, the lead switch kick to the body that was a Henry Cejudo move at, at, at that weight class at least. So maybe we can get them a bit early on. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know who sort of who you learn their moves off in in, in the light heavyweight the, uh, division. I don't know if I'm going to move up to heavyweight. I don't know whether to keep this playthrough at light heavyweight and move up to heavyweight, or uh, sorry, I don't know whether to keep the playthrough at just light heavyweight and take the entire run. Oh, nice uppercut there! Take the entire run as a light heavyweight, or whether I should do double champ. And move to heavyweight, or I guess I could do double champ 
And when I've got the heavyweight belt, I could drop back down to light heavy. I guess I could do that if I wanted to stay at light heavy. Because, like I say, if I want to be getting goat, doing the double champ is uh, it goes towards achieving that. So, even if it's just to do that on the checklist, might be worth it. But I'm noticing. I know, I know, I know. I've just started, and I haven't, haven't levelled anything up yet. But I'm noticing the strikes are coming out way slower in light heavyweight. That's why I do like the lighter weight classes in combat sports games, like boxing games, and because I just like the faster strikes. I like, I like being quick and agile, and that's one of the reasons I don't like playing is like heavier, heavier weight classes too much in games, because their speed stats tend not to be as good as the lower classes. Can't forget about that knee to the body as well, actually. Never really throw any elbows, either. Let's get, try and get some elbows going. I just find the range is very... Uh, very situational. Yeah, well, I know that's an elbow anyway. You'd have to get in close to use it, but... I just never seem to be able to get them off all that regularly. be gassing in the tutorial stages. I'm just trying to land so many shots to get get them leveled up. There's the jab. Jab leveled up. Oh, I am slowing down quite a bit. Avenue. There's that. Oh, there's that right up, of course. Oh, and the liver shot did land. Like I say, this is all just a. Uh, this is not too stressful at the moment. This is all just grinding these three fights out just to get some points in the bank for. We crank the difficulty up to uh, legendary. And the, the real test begins. I think I'm going to be getting some losses in this career mode for sure. We're going against heavier hitters. Oh, left up lens. Going against heavier hitters. So, and probably really good submission artists. And just in, in that last career mode that I did, I think we only got two submissions, or two people at least put submission, submissions on us out of all of our fights. And we got out of them. But normally I've had way more way more uh, submission attempts done by the AI in the career modes that I've done that one was just like a just an oddball career I am setting the pace coach fucking hell I'm trying to I'm trying to take my foot off the gas because I'm throwing so many strikes get that right straight to the body leveled up and love this love the right straight to the body Cheeky hook there on the clinch break. So we got a UFC coming up this weekend, haven't we? Got we got a fight night and one of the oh nice uppercut. The main event has been changed. Uh, it was Nasadine Imavov versus originally Kelvin Gastelum, but Kelvin Gastelum has uh, suffered an injury in training. Fucking trainer partner hit him with a knee. Apparently that's that's what the story is. What the fuck's his training partner doing throwing knees? Fucking hell, is it out of Coach Davis's gym? Fucking hell, sounds like it. So, Sean Strickland has stepped up. Fill in for Gastelum. And the fight is going to be at light heavyweight. Instead of middleweight. So that's going to be interesting. So I'm looking forward to it. First UFC card of the year. And back-to-back -back Sean Strickland fights. It was he rounded out the year with his loss to um, Jared Cannonier. I don't know. I can't see him getting it done against the. Oh God! I didn't realise that leg was as compromised as it was. 
I don't know if he's going to get get the win against the uh, Imovov. I don't know. I don't know if Sean's been training all that much. It sounds like he's took the fight because he's been offered a shitload of money to take it. <laughs> and apparently, the, I mean, I don't follow social media at all, but like, oh, she nearly kicked him in the head. I don't follow social media at all, but apparently he's fucking, he's had, he's wrecked his motorbike, <laughs> so he's probably thought. Oh, that'll fit that money the UFC are giving me. That'll probably fix me motorbike. So might that might be his incentive to take it for taking the fight as the money. He might not give a shit whether he can win it or not. Oh, there goes my leg again. So yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd like Strickland to win. I would like him to win. But um, I, I don't know if he's gonna this this Imavov is just. Um, He's got that hunger, you know what I mean? And he's, uh, I, I could see him potentially getting it done. Um, oh, the audio's gone in my left ear, why is that? Yeah, uh, I hope, like I say, I hope Strickland wins, but I don't know if he will. So I'm looking forward to that, that's this weekend. And we've got the Volkanovski and Islam Makhachev fight in February. All right, kid. I know we kept it pretty simple, but if we start mixing and all, all the hot, hot MMA Arsenal, news, there was uh, we'll Habib as really announced his sort of retirement from legs, sort of MMA in general. It, it doesn't look like he's. Do, no, he's retired from fighting all, like ages Snap ago. But hips, keep it loose. even even training well, people now, he yeah. said he's stepping right, away. Let's go. So I wonder if that'll sort of... Uh, I don't think it will, but like I, I was wondering Let's whether it'll like have any effect on like... Listen for my call -outs. Like Islam, uh, Makhachev be, he's not, uh, being in Islam's corner. I don't think it will, to be honest. I think Islam's right. fucking... Land some high kicks now. I, I, don't, I don't think he needs Habib. In, he's his old man now, do you know what I mean? It's like the... All right. Focus the body on your next kicks. It's the age-old archetype, isn't it? You know what I mean? The, the student always surpasses the mentor eventually. You know, it's Switch like that. Stance. Let's see it. It's like the classic Star Wars thing, isn't it? It's like the That's apprentice always overthrows over. the master. It's it's that thing you've got to like break away from the break away from the master eventually and become eventually Time become the master. Do you know what I'm saying? So That's why I don't think it's gonna uh, it's gonna have any effect on, on Makhachev with they Habib not being there. Nevertheless, I'm still looking forward to the fight like and the pay per view so in general. We do it here. I like that. Moving on to the next. Keep at it. Head kicks. Easy points. I'm just gonna have a good, sip of tea good. while we're watching Pretty this. Good, kid. That was light work for you. Now let's test those moves out and sparring. Now be sure to watch for those kicks coming back at you now too. All right. All right. Let's see what you got. Today. I thought my training partner Speed was called Fucker. <laughs> but that was his name, Fucker. <laughs> I didn't see the the T there. It looked like an F. From now on, he's called Fucker for this entire fucking. Oh, for, for this entire. Look at the size of him. He looks like a fucker as well, doesn't he? Look at him. What are we doing here? Oh, block him. Okay. Let's see some blocks now. Was totally talk up talk by his name. God, the size of this cunt. Got to, got to give him a little shot on that. Fucker. That shit, that was his name. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think he's definitely going to be a fucker, isn't he? I mean, I know I cut out the training when the, when I'm doing these, just, the, just for the sake of getting more fights in, and okay, I want to see high kicks now. it saves me editing time. But uh, give me some body kicks. Go. yeah, fucker. He's only gonna be—he's gonna be causing me problems in training. You know that. You know how this AI works by now. Combos, combos. Don't want to neglect the inside low kick. On, I felt like I, 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 I neglected clinch. that in my uh, in my last playthrough. Okay, show me some clinch action. Here we go. Now block everything. I want 
to see you escape that clinch now. Interesting sound effects of this game, like when you're missing punches and you get that sort of... Okay, okay. Sounds like Looking someone's like good. slashing through that's the air with like a samurai sword. It's like, there. that's not what... I like what I see. That's not what punches okay, sound up. like when you I throw a punch. It's like... Bit of a step up in opponent. Interesting uh, striker, artistic choice there. If you keep putting in this kind of work. Imagine if you right, punch that it? quickly and your punches made that cutting through the air sound. Looks a little bit, I don't know, like... Like Hong Kong Kung Fu movie kind of <laughs> sound effect to it. Maybe that's what they were going for, I don't know, but it just it doesn't feel like it fits. Like So we do also wanna spend some time on the ground and get some like transitions leveled up and shit like that. So try that against the uh, the submission fight in the third in the third uh, Set up your kicks. sort of tutorial fight. Good, good. Yeah, you got this. All right. You feel? Good. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. For now, I'll just... Oh, sorry, mate. I meant to touch gloves with you there. Gomez. Oh, he's already coming up with a low kick. Everyone's fucking bigger than me. Oh, look at these low kicks coming in. And he checks one of mine. First one to throw, and he's fucking checked it. Oh. Checked one of his finally. I'm trying to get into the habit of when I connect with the liver shot, like it's slipping off to the left or right, because. Oh, there's the body straight leveled up. The AI's a tendency to counter the liver shot with the block counter. So, I've been practicing trying to slip out the way, but it's. I've not committed it to sort of like muscle memory yet. Oh, there's an overhand. I didn't even mean to do that. God, this, this guy's. Really going for those low kicks. Another one. He's going to end up in injuring himself. Stop it, you're throwing too many. Not going to get to the end of the fight. Oh, he goes high this time. He heard me. God, I feel so slow. I can't. I can't wait to put some points into punch speed. I'm going to be filling that up way earlier this time. I did it. Took me a bit of time last time to actually get me punches all the way up in terms of punch speed. So when we get these points, I don't think we're going to be getting as many this time. I feel like not as much as leveling up as as it did in the last playthrough. I've only seen the. The jab and the right straight to the body level up so far. There's the straight, right on cue. Now let's... I wouldn't mind the left hook and the, the right uppercut. Not going to land that right uppercut as often because it's just like a... It's a harder punch. It'll end up fucking knocking him out. But yeah, as soon as, as soon as we're able to spend the points, it's going to be the usual. So cardio and chin. And then I'm going to try and disperse it into power, punch power. And I'll see if I can uh, put some into speed. I know last time I did power and submission defense right off the bat. But, but I might hold off on the submission defence as long as I can. Because we, we did that, we, we put all that... We done points early into submission defence and no one barely fucking went for the submission. Oh, there's the hook. So instead of going submission defence early on, I'm going to try and go for punch speed. Try and get some takedowns levelled up. With those trips. What, did I just get there? Was that left up to the body I just got leveled up? I think it was. I can't remember. I forgot already and it was like 10 seconds ago. Oh! That El Huapo liver shot. Bang! And that is the liver shot! Tried to get the shorts like he... Like he wore in his UFC debut. Those sort of... Like really old school hunter. Valley 2 those shorts with the 
like black solid black shorts with the white sort of trim around the waist and thighs but this game for some reason just won't let you have something as basic as that it'll let you have things with unicorns on and shit and things that fucking glow with LED lights but it won't let you have a solid black pair of trunks with white fucking borders on them it's crazy can't, we can't we have to be fucking too flamboyant we can't just have something simple and minimalistic so this this is the closest I could get I, I could try his um, I was going to put a pair of all red sort of kickboxing shorts on him to sort of replicate the uh, the shorts that he the, the shorts that he wore in his last fight in the WFA sort of his when he came out of retirement and had a fight it was against uh, Ruben Villarreal uh, it was originally supposed to be against Kimo Leopoldo but Kimo tested positive for steroids and a guy called Ruben Villarreal took his place and Bass wore like a pair of like just solid red I think the brand was oh there's a leg check we had another round to go there mate Gomez told you you were going to hurt yourself yeah Bass wore a solid pair of like I think the brand was called Throwdown at the time so I, I have I have tried a pair of red shorts on him just to see what that looks like oh got it with a full five minutes there we didn't get to we didn't get to throw techniques to fella came out spamming low kicks and I have to block them otherwise I'm gonna I'm gonna get stopped with them so I have to block them unless I just move out the way but better to block them than take them I guess at least we got something leveled up I can't remember if the next if I think the next one's the ground fight is it or just pr probably spend the, the majority of that fight just denying transitions and doing reversals and shit and all right all right that's good bring it in now you've probably heard this a thousand times wrestling is the best space for an MMA fight feels kind of appropriate to have him bass in these kind of shorts though with the with the, well, with them having the pride logo on the wrestler, you know he did commentate for years in pride so place. Kind of a nod, a nod to his pride days, I guess. And then your opponent has to adapt. Okay, that is the power of wrestling. Got it? Got it. All right, you ready to embrace the grind? Ready. All right, then let's go. Let's get out there, attack the legs, take them down, and get on top. All right? Oh, yeah, if I always forget about this, it's like this forced little... Where it makes you do the... Uh, Sort of the, the noob controls uh, hey, for this little section. I mean, I'm a, I'm a noob as well, but, but don't make, let's, don't get it twisted. I'm a noob at this game, but I've I've quickly switched to the uh, the legacy controls because it's just you're just limiting yourself if you good, good. He can't get you down. if you if you use sort of the the easy uh, easy control pound, scheme, pound but it forces you to do it here. All right, all right. Now let me see you control him on the ground. No, I don't, I don't want to get up. Yes, yes, perfect work. I like that. Keep going. Good, good. Moving on to the next one. Okay, clinch and give him no room. Get the takedown now. Okay, beautiful level change. Level change? That was a judo throw, coach. Nice! PK, the mid and Dana White is in town for this event. No, we're going to skip this one and then have a few fights in the WFA and then transfer to the UFC early, way before we get to, like, title contention. Okay. Just want to get a few WFA fights in first. Rather than just jump straight to the contender series. Before, look. Fast, smooth, strong. That's what we're doing today. Submission time. Show me what you got. Great control. Okay. So I've got to think about what submissions I actually want to uh, 
to unlock and learn, so it'll be like... Well, we already get the armbar anyway. We'll get things like the triangle choke, just kind of submissions that Bass used in his, um... In his Pancrease career. The guillotine, nice that was work. sort of his... Nice work. Now focus. His focus first so sort of submission that... Right. The guillotine's kind of considered like the striker's submission, isn't it? Because it's like... It's an, it's an easy one for a striker to learn, because if a striker's going up against people who want to take him down, they're going to be shooting in on him. And it's an in, sort of an instinctive thing for the striker to just wrap the neck up like that, so... That's why they call the guillotine the striker's submission. It's just like one of... Might be like one of the first ones that a striker might learn. Like, Alistair Overeem was a good example of that. He had a, a really good... Uh, a really good guillotine in his career. And he's primarily a... A, a, known for being a striker so yeah I'll, awesome. I'll, 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 I'll learn a guillotine off someone I'll learn a triangle and a couple of leg locks as well which I've not used yet in this game nice. so things like knee bars there. and like you've done some of this uh, yeah. heel hooks in this Doesn't game matter. can you do heel hooks All that matters is Bass finished a few people with heel hooks in his pancreas career and one particularly finishes. nasty one it was, um, was against weapons. Yoshihi Takahashi and yeah. Bass right. snapped his, the guy's shin bone but it didn't the fight didn't end immediately like he he twisted the the heel, and then the guy in in Pancrase you can get rope breaks, kind of like you can get in pro wrestling. So if you got put in a submission, and you were near the rope, you could grab the rope. It would count as like I think you get like five or three rope breaks. So if you use all them up, you, you know you lose. But like if you got caught in a submission and you, and you didn't want to tap. But you wanted to tap if you like, like you were going to get choked out or your arm was about to break. And you could grab a rope, you'd grab the rope and the referee would break the hold. But it, it went against you like a point against you. So Bass puts Takahashi in a, in a heel hook. Takahashi grabs the rope and you can see like the grimace on his face. So the referee stands them back up and they start moving around the ring and Takahashi even starts throwing some low kicks and then... There's just he throws a low kick and then he goes to put his foot back down and you see his sort of shin just bend like he's got the, they're wearing those kind of like um, the boots that they wore in Pancrase so if you think about what like if any of you watch WWE or when I used to watch it WWF so the kind of wrestling boots that sort of like someone like Ken Shamrock would wear or like Chris Jericho you know those kind of like shin length boots with the knee pads um, it's like a very specific style uh, you just see like Takahashi's like his shin bend while he was wearing that and it was fucking grim to watch and yeah that was in Bass's career and that was with it it was an inverted heel hook like a modified inverted heel hook Bass used it's fucking nasty it's hard to watch and Bass is um, he commentates during that whole career like on the, on the on the videos you can go watch them on YouTube it's a fascinating career to watch and he says Takahashi was in the in the hospital for six months because that's like a really horrific injury. Heel hooks, they're just so devastating. It's it, even in some in, in some jujitsu jiu tournaments that they're, they're not allowed. Like I, when I did my grappling tournament way back in 2005 in Birmingham, it was just like straight gi jujitsu, and I went for a heel hook in one of my matches, and I had to turn to oh no, I went for a knee bar actually. It was um, getting me, me wires crossed here. I actually went for a knee bar, but even that wasn't allowed. Um, but I, I know for a fact that he, at, at one point, heel hooks were not allowed. Oh, fucking hell, it was a... It's going for a choke. What kind of a choke is this? <laughs> I thought I was going for a Von Flew on him then, but like... I, I should be putting that on and, and defending, so I, I, I was a bit confused as to what was happening there. I forgot what I was saying. So this is also a chance to give me... Give me more practice at learning some... Um transitions on the ground I only really know things like half guard and uh, full guard and a little bit of mount but when it comes to like getting me back taken and things like that I don't know which way to to, to, to go to deny transitions and submissions so this is all like practice for me 
just to get more wise at uh, identifying some of these animations. This is sort of why why I wanted to do a, a submissions as well uh, run as well as striking, but in, get get getting um, getting the submissions in there, and it it, it gives like a more diverse play style as well, doesn't it? Like you know, striking and, and submissions. It's kind of I, I do love stand up fighting. Don't get me wrong, but I do I love submissions as well. And if I had the choice to like sort of matrix download a, a fight IQ into myself it would be sort of like a Shavkat Rachmanov you know who's kind of like got a split record right down the middle of um, finishes with strikes uh, finishes on the feet and finishes by submission That he's, he's kind of got the perfect record if you ask me all 100% finish rate and it's like an almost an even split of submissions and KOs or TKOs so that's kind of like the dream the dream record for me at least anyway get some reversals going get some ground strikes leveled up or oh, close to leveling up and posture up get some shots off This is the one I need to get better at. I always, always get caught out with the up transition denial. Always get caught out with that shit. Oh, we got a sweep. So I want the AI to go for that more often because I need to get better at recognising that. I always go left or right when, when they initially go for it. I'm just camping the left and right one instead of up and down. Just want him to go for it again. Oh, I didn't recognise that one. I thought he was there. Uh, because we're in no danger in this early stage of getting submitted. So I can get away with it. But if that was in a... Once we've cranked up to legendary, I might not have been so lucky there. But I'll have to make note of that. The uh, sort of arm went up to me left... Me left uh, sorry, me right shoulder. I'll have to try and make a mental note of what that animation looked like there. Okay, we've got something levelled up. I feel like it's been ages since we levelled anything up. Let's get it on the feet a little bit. I don't want to knock him out. Oh, there's an elbow. get some more ground elbows this is kind of uh, when Bass went into the UFC he only had two fights his first fight was against um, Siyoshi Kusaka and he stopped Siyoshi with strikes with like a minute a minute to go he, said, he actually said to his corner tell me when there's a minute left and I'm going to knock him out <laughs> and that's exactly what he did and then his second fight was against the, for the title against the Kevin Randleman and that was one of the only times I've seen somebody from the bottom win the fight because of strikes. Like like Bass will admit he had the, the worst takedown defence. And all through his Pancras career, that's that's the case, watching that he got tucked down so easily. And he even addresses it when he, during the commentary while he's uh, commentating over his, his Pancras career. He says, he, says if I, he finds it hard to watch seeing himself getting taken down so easily. Which you know wouldn't be the case now because he's learnt so much. But um, so Kevin Randleman and, and Randleman's a phenomenal wrestler as well. Do you know? Have you seen the size of that fucker when he was alive? Juice to the gills, an amazing Ohio State wrestler, and he just took Bass down at will. Whenever Bass committed strikes, but in the second half of the fight, Bass started um, just sitting in his guard like this. He had Randleman as guard, and he was just elbowing the fuck out of Randleman's head, and opened up a bunch of cuts 
on Randleman's head, and Randleman had his hair like bleached blonde at the time. And you could just see these like big red patches forming, like where blood was starting to like leak through. And Bass opened him up with a, like a bunch of cuts just from the guard, and I think that was the, one of the first times somebody on the bottom like this won a fight because of strikes. Because normally, especially to casuals, when you see someone lying on the bottom like this, they're losing the fight. It, it doesn't look, it's not a very dominant, um, it, it doesn't look like a dominant position. You know what I mean? It's like the fella on top is in the dominant position just when you're just looking at the situation. But yeah, Bass stole the fight from him by working constantly off his back and not just lying there and accepting the position. Like you see, uh, you see people doing that today, just lying there on their back. And I get it, it's difficult to get up when you've got someone holding you down. But Bass just accepted that he, he, he didn't have the skills to sort of get back to his feet in every situation. And he just thought, fuck it, I'm just going to start elbowing your head. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it, it, it won him the fight. Very, very smart, smart martial artist as Bass. That's one of the reasons I like him so much. And, you know, he's one of them who will put out, like, instructionals, or he did back in the day, instructional tapes for, like, young martial artists to, like, learn from. But the reason I have so much respect for that kind of stuff, anyone can put out a, an instructional videotape, do you know what I mean? But he was putting out things that have actually worked in fights. And he, he, he showed, he'd, he'd cut in like videos of him using them in competition and fights and that's like he's showing you in a live situation being used, you know what I mean, and, and how effective it can be. And it was just like, oh, this this guy knows his shit, you know what I mean. On top of that, he just, like a, he just looks like a super sound, like awesome human being. You know, he looks super friendly until you fucking cross him, that is. He's got amazing stories to tell, he's a good storyteller. Got some amazing stories about him fighting bouncers when he was younger and stuff like that. He's been around the block. I should have had to try to finish this off with a submission. Go for the finish. Yeah, so he's my favourite mixed martial artist of all time for sure. Just coming up to just shy of an hour now. I might get see if we can get one WFA fight in and then call it a video. I'm gonna keep them roughly an hour or just over an hour for the sake of uh, rendering the videos out. We didn't get as many points as I think we got something like 230 odd points last time. By the time we got past these tutorials. I don't think it's going to be as many this time. I don't feel like enough techniques leveled up. I did level some stuff up, but not as many as I'd like. Oh, it's recommended the easy difficulty. We must have done terrible, so obviously we're going to go legendary. This is it. We're locked in now. No change in the difficulty. I'm actually hoping I actually get a few losses in this career. I didn't get any in my last one. It was a undefeated run, which was kind of a disappointment, really. But I think we're definitely going to be getting losses in this one. Like I say, we're going against bigger fellas. I need a WFA right now. And no one wants this smoke. That's the, the standard kind of welcome to the WFA text that you get. Curtis Tanner. I'll be your Huckleberry. Get our first fight booked. New prospect to watch, El Wapo. No, so 188. That's not too bad. We can we can get some stuff. Some stuff with that. Would have liked a little bit more. I can't believe I got more. Way more than that. Fucking hell. I must have leveled up a bunch of techniques in the, in the first the first run, first playthrough rather. Three week camp. Hey Bass, I know you already know this, but I just wanted to reiterate. Interacting with your fellow fighters is always a good idea. Building a positive relationship and you might find yourself with a great trainer partner in the future. Talk some trash and the fans may even be more hyped to see you fight. I'll keep all that in mind, coach. Thanks. Gonna give credit to El Wapo. You stepped up now, I'm gonna have to sit you down. Oh, look at this. We've, we've gone from all, like, being nicey-nicey to shit-talking. 
Surprised. I hope you didn't think I'd turn down an easy opponent like you for me debut. We've gone back down to neutral. He's, he's the one doing the shit talking. He's going to have to sit me down. Fuck that. You're the one that's getting sat down. Right. Are we going to... Do we need to, do we need to bother watching tapes on him? That's what I normally do. I normally... Well, saying that, the fitness, we don't need to boost the fitness up too high, so I think we can get some done. Be foolish not to. One star. Jiu-Jitsu. Shoulder locks, three stars. Legs chokes, two stars. Orthodox chokes, two. Low kick, two. And a lead low kick, two. And I'm going to collect my free XP. Easy thousand XP for doing the tapes. A profile pick that I'll never use. Chicken dance emote that I'll never use. 50 coins. Thanks for nothing. Did I miss one then? No. Win fights. Did I get it? Yeah, watch tapes. Yeah. Uh, go to next week. Just, oh, let me just see. Who we have to sort of get Pally with to start learning some techniques off. Lead elbow from Stipe. So I'm looking for... Oh, question mark kick. That's... Well, we can only get that off John Jones, so we can only get that when we become a champion. So that's way off in the distance. Hey, Maker, don't want that. Leads, but I'm going to try and keep my techniques all just like standard, just like last time. I don't, I don't really use any like spinning shit or crazy fucking jump and switch kicks. You know that by now. I'd have to just dedicate a full playthrough to just crazy technique, character build. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm looking for lead body switch kick. Lead body front kick, lead spit and elbow. Oh, submission stuff. Unorthodox chokes, guillotines. Uh, Got to wait till I get to the UFC for that. Alexi Olinik is going to teach us those, so we won't be getting them. Oh, I'd say in that, well, we're not staying in the WFA for ages, are we? So that won't be too far away till we, we get to learn that. Lead body crane kick, crane kick. Leg locks off Jackeray, reach the UFC. To get them, okay. Uh, still, uh, loop and cross from Tai to Ivasa, and the snap jab as well. All right, and we only have to reach the UFC to get that. That's good. But I would like to level up the the basic jab and cross just to get them both to prestige to get like a total of two hundred points out of both of them, um, in total. So I'll, I'll unlock, like I say, the snap jab and the the loop and cross. Uh, leg choke, so that's triangles off Nogueira. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, so I'll unlock the snap jab and the loop and cross, but I won't be equipping it right away. Lead leg side kick. Where's this fucking shoulder locks? There's another one. If I want it. Top 15 rank I have to reach. Am I blind? Have I have I have I missed the left switch kick, lead switch kick to the body? Why don't I just go to kick? I eh? just, just narrow it down a bit. Hook, oh, Celtic cross, lead crane kick, front kick, cartwheel, rolling thunder, jump and switch kick, body hand plant, lead, jump and switch, two touch spin and side kick, lead side kick, lead body side kick. Double knee, spin and heel kick, spin and elbow question mark kick, stocked and slap, cage fly knee superman. Where is this? I thought Luke Rockhold might have had something like this. Lead spin and side kick, lead question mark kick, jumping roundhouse. 
lead body front kick, body front kick, lead spin and elbow, body side kick, side kick, lead hook kick, lead side leg kick, lead front kick, shoulder locks, lead body stir it is, oh it's Jacare, fucking was staring at me, fucking right in the face, alright, so none of this can be learnt anyway, <laughs> spent all that time doing that, so, right what I'll do then, I'll get stuck into the training, and I'll see you back here when I'm done, see you in a bit. All right, that's the training done. So I did manage to get the points closer to 230. I forgot that I'd be actually unlocking points doing the actual training. So that's good. I managed to get, gonna be able to spend more. So let's get these spent. Oh, perks, I forgot all about perks. Crazy legs is obviously one. Uh, gonna do the same as what I always do. Hooks and up, where's the one for straights? That's the one. And later there'll be hooks, uppercuts, and things like that. No, I didn't want to go back. I'm finished. So all this is going to be... Let's see. Health. Cardio all the way up. Well, let's... Chin strength. I'll go full. I might go cardio full, I think. It's going to swallow all me fucking... It's going to swallow it all up, though, isn't it? Recovery's going to have to go up as well. Uh Punch power and speed. Not gonna have enough. Three star. That's nice and fair for the time being. Um, submission defense. It's not gonna race to have another half put star. All right, here we go. First fight in the WFA. Curtis Tanner, nine and one. Let's do it. See you at the fight. Feels like a while since we've been back here in the WFA. That was nice enough to put us on the left hand side. Oh, and we eat a head kick <laughs> right off the bat. That's not good. So said this guy was jujitsu, didn't it? In his uh, in his tape. So be mindful of that. I feel so much, so much slower than the lightweight career, which is expected, of course. But like, I don't like it. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I feel like I'm going to have a lot of losses because I don't know, just being this slow. And this is fucking three star. Oh, nice liver shot there. This is three star speed. Fucking hell. Have to make do with it though. This is all oh, this is our stats at the moment and to make it work or try. Oh, so they say I already. It's the first fight and it's like fucking slipping and countering. Look already. Slip me trusty left uppercut twice in a row. He might have this. I think he's got it. Oh and already it's fucking denying transitions we've just started camera what are you doing denied that one managed to get up to get some oh nice judo throw took me eye off the game for a minute there just focused on getting out rather than thinking about the throw. He's going for the choke. So we fucking give this round up. He's had takedowns. He's had submission attempts. He's landed strikes. Just pounding that body. Look at that. It's our cue to get up. Oh, a little cheeky shot off the break. Oh, knee as he came in there. Like, I don't like it when I'm not 
quick with my strikes. I don't feel like I can fully get into the flow. Another shoot. Oh, got him again with the knee as he came in. Dumped him at the end of the round. Need to get my hands going. I feel like I barely, barely landed on him. Oh, that was right at the start of the fight. Took a head kick and a right straight. Oh, little elbow there on the clinch break. Oh, all the highlights for it's all him. Gotta get me offense going here. Oh, pivoted into the low kick. Oh, that head kick just well didn't didn't look like it counted. It, it clearly landed. Game ripped me off a little bit there. I feel couple of hard elbows. Oh, it rocked him. Elbow rocked him. Should I catch him with those straights as he's coming in? Feels so slow going for the right straight to the body. Feel like like that. He's intercepting me when I'm setting it up with the jab. It's not it's not as quick. I need to get my footwork up as well. I'm, I'm, I'm moving a lot slower. I forgot all about footwork then when I was spending points. Oh, the one-two got through. It's a bit of a better round. I've got a sweat coming off. See all that sweat? Oh, nice slip and a little jab counter there by him. There's that left uppercut. Oh, got through that time. Tried for the dashing straight there, but it didn't come out. Inside, low kick. Right straight to the body lands. Oh, left uppercuts there again. Right at the end of the round. There was a better show in that round. Got into into the rhythm a bit there. Felt like, felt like he was countering. The AI was doing its bullshit. Right at the beginning of this fight, but it sort of didn't do it as much in the second round. Oh, that left uppercut. It's one apiece, I think. This is the... Whoever takes this round won the fight. Oh, see, there we go. I've just got into the habit of like trying to slip that now. I'm going to try and drill that into me, into me muscle memory. When I, when I go for the liver shots, just get into the habit of just pivoting off. Oh, sorry, not pivoting, slipping off. 
I don't know if it's always going to work, but it's better than not doing it. Oh, hard right straight puts him down. Drop into his guard. We get the finish. He kicks us away. Oh, he's fatiguing a little bit. Go for that body. Oh, there we go. That slip just paid off there. He went for the clinch. We slipped it and countered with the uppercuts. Beautiful. I'm going to have to really commit to getting that down. That really paid off a little bit there. Oh, it didn't show us slipping the uh, the clinch grab. Good first fight. Started off a little bit shaky. Yeah, it's just slipping off like that after the after the liver shot has uh, helped a couple of times. Obviously, if they, if they throw a hook, it's, it's going to be bad because I'll be slipping right into the hook. But if it's a straight punch or an uppercut, it's going to evade it. And even a clinch attempt, it'll evade the clinch attempt. So I might as well do it than not do it. Just got to commit it to muscle memory. Just keep doing it. Rather than just throwing the liver shot and then just leaving me head there like that. See there? Oh, it just went over me head. Bang! Leave them vulnerable to the uppercut. There's the liver shot. Slip to the right. Dang it, a dang it, a dang. And that's it. Tyron Woodley B2's at UFC 253. What's going on? All right, let's get the next fight offer and then I'll uh, call it a video. Be a good place to leave it. Adam Hooper, unranked. Can we can we decline? We can have one. Hang on, let's just check the rankings. Just see where he is. Just outside of the top 15. We might be able to get a higher ranked. Let's go for it. Might as well. Which gives us somewhat lower. Stylebender keeps the belt after defeating Yoel Romero. Ellis Love, is he lower ranked? I think he's going to be, isn't he? You know, he's, he's below us, we're fighting someone below us. Should have just took the first fucking fight off her. Coming into the organisation and turning fights down. I'm like, no, give me someone bigger than that. That's what I get. So I'll just sign the... Sign the fight. It, it's all experience anyway. It's all experience. Three week camp. What's that? Matt is Fucking hell. Hey Baz, I get declining fights, you know, I always want to be ready up for a particular fight, but the promoter might not like it, or be so understanding. Just a heads up. Fuck off, Matt Devias. Suck my fucking balls. Time to bring him some fresh blood bears. Do you want me to bring some, make some phone calls? Uh, not just yet, coach. I'll, uh, I'll start beating up on training partners when I've, when I've got a bit more cash. Right, watch his tapes. Looks like a mean fucker, don't he? Look at him. One and a half stars. Kickboxer. Three star roundhouse kick, two star body roundhouse. Two star kick, kickboxing combos, traditional combos, two star and two star jab. So on paper, it's going to be a stand up affair. So I've got to get, got to hit the gym. But for now, I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. A good start to the first, uh, first episode. Looking forward to doing this playthrough, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time.